Hey y'all, welcome back to my little room here at the Willow House, 507 Willow House. I'm tickled that you're here and I just want to thank everybody for your wonderful comments, for your support. I hope that you'll stay with me and um, tell all your friends, tell tell them to tell their friends and their, their neighbors and um, their aunts and uncles and everybody to come over and spend some time with us. I wish I could serve y'all some sweet tea and and uh, some pound cake. My mama made the best pound cake. Wish we had some. But um, anyway, I, I thank you for being here, and I, I do. I thank you for subscribing to my channel. This is very new to me. Um, my daughter told me my 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 video was kind of out of whack yesterday, which I knew it was. And y'all hang with me. I'm new to this world of of um, YouTube and um, Etsy and all those things. I'm new to all of that, and uh, but we'll get there in the end, and we're going to have a lot of fun on the way. So, y'all, uh, y'all just stay with me. I wanted today to show you these little journals that I've made, these little, I call them my little bitties, because I, 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 they're so, they're little, they're tiny. I love tiny stuff like this, and, um, but these just fit so beautifully in your hand. They're so comfortable, and I've really enjoyed making these. I've, I will be listing these for sale, um, and you can just, you, if you see one that you like, that you want before I get it listed, just give me a holler, and and uh, we'll get you paypal and that kind of thing, and I'll send her to you. I'll just put her in a box and send it to you, and she'll be all yours and good to go. But um, I'll tell you, this, this pink one is fully embellished. Um, it's got about 70 pages in it, and they all have about 70 pages, either 70, 72, something like that. I like, I like them chunky, and um, I like them shabby, and all of that, so, which you'll see, but um, I'll tell you, let's talk about Miss Pink here. She's a, it's a sweet little journal. I, I think she's so pretty. A little bit of my fodder school. You know, yesterday I told y'all told I was in fodder school. I'm not a great student, but I'm there anyway. So, I'm learning. I think that's fun. I, I've always been interested in art, so I'm going to see what I can do with it. I, this little, um, these two little pages here, I did not do these. These are originals from Ro Rachel at Roxy's Creations. They came in a package that I um, received from her, some things that I had ordered, and I thought they were so pretty, and I thought they'd be beautiful in this journal, so I'm included. I include... Oh, my pictures were out. Look, I included them in here. Well, out while they're out, I'll tell you about it. This picture reminds me of going in, for, of California. When I, we went to California when I was a little girl, I was four, and you know, I I don't know how I remember it all, but I I do remember that. I don't remember what happened last week, but I could tell you what happened when I was four. I don't know how that works, but um, every time I see that that picture, I think about my trip to California. But I've got some little journaling spots in here for you. Just tuck that up in there. And again, this is a little painting, uh, one of the hand painted papers from Rachel. She has these on her on her Etsy. She's got a couple of digital kits with um, her hand painted papers. Y'all, it's thundering. Oh, it sounds wonderful. It's been raining here all day. That drizzly rain, that that you know is dang, it's annoying when you're driving it has started raining a lot harder and now it's thundering it sounds wonderful i'm gonna talk i'm i've tried to not squirrel too much on y'all today um got some beautiful little digitals in here and this now this paper this came straight out of the of the thrift store i just love it i i it's a cross stitch or something like that. I, I saw it was so pretty. This is another original from Rachel. You can feel the paint, the texture of the paint. It, I just love it. It feels so pretty. Feels pretty. It does feel pretty. But uh, I like this little journal. I included you some little, some little um, spots to write. Cute, cute. I just love it. That rain sounds so good. Y'all, I apologize if I'm scooting around. My, I can't get my chair situated. 
you know, I've got a, a rolling office chair and I prop my feet up on the, on the, um, legs of it and they have to be just centered just right for me to be comfortable and they were out out of whack so i had to straighten them up um y'all let me tell y'all about well this is what i think about these two women right here this is one of my favorite pictures i believe this is a ruby and pearl uh, one of her printables and these two, every time I see this picture, and you'll see it a lot because it's one of my favorites, but I think about these two ladies. It looks like they're propped up against a tree that's just right on the edge of the woods, you know? Um, and and they're on, it's like they're on the Sunday picnic, and I think they've been sipping the wine. I think they've been sipping the wine. It looks to me like they're just sitting back up there, and they're gossiping about everybody that's at the picnic. You know, that happens here in the South. I don't know about if that happens with y'all, but it happens here in the South people sipping wine on the church picnic but I just I think they're so cute you'll see them a lot because I I've used this in several of my journals uh, they're just I, they're the cutest little things to me got you another little journal here little bitty tag isn't that cute that's the dinkiest tag I've ever made I just thought I thought it was so cute tuck it right in there Pretty little papers. This one, I love this paper. It it feels so, oh God, it feels like butter. I got this in a um. I got this in a at a thrift store, a vintage cookbook. Got it in thrift store, and I when I looked at, it, I thought, boy, this would be great. And I thought, well, I might try some of these if I cooked. I would, but I don't. My husband had, bless him, he cooks. He if I want good food, if we want good food to eat, my Joe cooks for us. Love it. He's a great cook. He cooks and I clean. That's how we do it. But and I told you yesterday about a little quilt that I made for my mama when she um, was real sick. And this is this is the main fabric of that quilt. And I, I don't have a whole lot of it, but I left. But I like to use it in my journals. That I just think it's sweet. I I love that she would have loved my journals. She would have she would have loved. Um, what I'm doing and and making these and um, the memory books, keepsake books and and all, she would have loved that. Well, I got y'all. I lost my little paper clip that I had on here, but this is one of those little things that just pops over the pops over the page like that. I've got you in here a little writing space, and on the back of it goes on this page right here. Look, is that cute? It's just a little, it's just a little few little pages, a little bitty bit of journaling. I think that's so cute. I love to make those. I make, I have them in all my journals usually. Flip this out. Beautiful little thing. These all, all of these are about three and a half wide by four and a half to five and a half. One is, is right at six inches. Um, I believe it's the green one is about six inches tall. We'll go ahead and look at this one. Now these four, they are not embellished. There, there are a few things here and there, but there's, they're not really fully embellished, but I, I think they're sweet. And I, I put extra papers in here more, you know, about the same as I did and a little bit more than I put in this one, but I put extra papers in here since I didn't have, I didn't embellish it a whole lot. But I thought that you might like to to pick you up one of these blank ones and you can just, you know, stick it. You can throw this in your purse. I tote one in my purse all the time. But you can throw this in your purse and, and take it with you or put it in your bedside table and write your notes at night. I have to do that. If I think of something during the night, I have to write it down or I won't forget it. I, I don't, you know, like I said, I remember stuff that happened when I was four, but I can't remember what I had to eat yesterday. So in this little paper, it feels it feels like the other. It just feels like butter. This is out of a textbook. I got it at a different store in Pulaski, Pulaski, Tennessee, and uh, it's really sweet. It like a little textbook, and it's got some some markings in here. It's got where somebody took notes, and you know, when I was in school, I didn't take technical notes. I, I wrote in my journal and my I wrote in my textbooks. Teachers didn't like it, but I did. I wrote in my textbooks, but it wasn't anything technical. You know what I wrote? Back in the day, we used to write 
I was here. And that's all I would write. I, I bet there was 2,000 places in my textbooks that would say, I was here. I don't know who was there, but I did the same thing. Leslie was here. I was here. I, it was so funny. I goofed off in school. I loved school, and but I goofed off a lot. Kelly Cleveland, if you're looking at this, you'll know. She was one of my classmates. One of my tribe. I love these little flower, these little pages. I think they're so sweet. But yeah, these are cute little journals. Just perfect. Like I said, they just fit perfectly in your hands. Just going to show you a little bit of them. So you can pick out the one that you like and give me a holler and we'll, we'll get it situated and get it to you. I love this one. Of course, I, I love pink, but I think this one is... I think this one is just really sweet. I put a little bit of dictionary. I try to in in all of my journals. And, you know, when I, like I said, I goofed off in school. But I had the most wonderful English teacher when I was a senior in high school. And every time I, every time I look at dictionary page, I think about Miss Hester. Because she was, she was, we were her, I was in her first class of her, her teaching career and um, out of college and you know they you have to do all your uh, you know what's it called student teaching you have to do all that and and I was her first class well we were a doozy of a class I wasn't in smart class I will tell you that I, I was in the one that you know well anyway we had a lot of fun though we may have been almost special but we had a lot of fun <laughs> I'm sorry I had to say that. But anyway, on this little journal, moving on, moving on. I think it's, I think, I just love these. Again, I, I use, like I said, I use um, shorthand a whole lot. I just think it's pretty. Um, I love it. I love that little pink flower right there. But you'll see. These, these are just sweet. Y'all, that's some of my fodder school. I thought you might like it. Thought you might like that. Some of my fodder school pages, I threw them in there. Thought that was cute. I did these a um, couple of days ago. I put these all together. The way I do my... I don't know how you do your journals. If you're a journal maker, I don't know how you do them. But I like to... I get those little... Um, I gather my pages up. But I don't... I don't... Um, I don't tie them up or anything. I think these are so cute like that. But I don't, I usually will shift it around as I work on it. Like with this one, did y'all see me just throw a little green over there? I just threw her. But with this one, I didn't, I did not tie this up until I finished it completely. I don't know if you do yours that way, but sometimes as I'm working through them, I find that, I find that I, I, might want to move a page around or something. I like the way it fits better in a different, you know, next to a different paper or something like that. So I, d I don't usually tie them up. So if I come across a paper that I like when I'm putting together a couple of new journals or whatnot, I'll, I might um, put them in. And these were some that I just put in uh, uh, last week on it. But I thought they were real pretty and I thought they added a lot to the to the um to the little journal. I thought that was sweet. Here's Miss Gold. Like I said, these have got about 70 pages in them, 70, 72, something like that. You know, if you have each side counts as a different as a side. So it's like one, two, three, four. It took me a minute when they I started learning about this stuff, but that's how you count the pages in a journal. This is the straw paper that I get from Rachel at Roxy Creations. This comes from Italy. I've never seen it. It's almost like a construction paper that we used in high school or, I mean, elementary school and our grandbabies used. But it's stronger than that. And it's, it has a, the most beautiful color and it has, um, it just has like little speckles in it. It's so pretty. I, I, I love using that in my journals. I, it's good to write on. It's it's real sturdy. You can just do anything with it. Got you a little bit of graph paper, vintage graph paper in there. I like, I don't know about y'all, but I like these little pokey outy things right here. So they fall off a lot, and that's okay. 
that's okay. I, I like them anyway. Even if they do fall off, I like when it leaves the little, like that one. I like that. I, I think these are, um, these are just so cute. See, there's some more writing in the textbook. It doesn't say I was here. I might just write that in there for you so that you get a, a textbook paper that says Leslie was here. This one I did put a little pot. I love this little paper. It it feels almost like not well, not really tissue paper, but it's real real thin and it just has the sweetest feel to it like this one. I don't know how old this is, but I promise you if Rachel fell to that, she would be able to tell you about what year this this paper is from. She does she she's worked with books so much and with antique and vintage paper is so much that she y'all go check her out rachel at roxy creations on youtube and um miss catherine at catherine uh, created by catherine she and she and david and, and nelson they are a hoot y'all go check her out and there there are so many and i'll tell you this before i get any further i'll tell you about people and I'll share them with you. And when I figure out how to link them down below, I'll link them down below. And when I have when I have some extra videos that I can put up in the cards, as soon as I find the cards, and I, I'll put you some videos up in there so that you can watch, you know, mine. And I, if I refer to it, I'll put it up in the cards. But I got to find that first. So I, I don't, I'm not tech savvy. I don't, I don't know all that stuff. My grandchildren do. My grandchildren can sit down and I remember when my oldest grandson Braden was probably he was probably about maybe seven. Maybe about seven or so. We were sitting at the breakfast table. They used to spend every weekend with me when they were little. And we were just sitting at the breakfast, me and Chandler and Danielle and Braden. And Chandler says, he says, Mimi, I can hack your computer. I said, What? He said, yes, ma'am, I can hack your computer. I'll know all about your computer. I said, well, how are you going to do that, Brayden? And when did you learn to do that? He said, I watched it on 1-800 on the TV. I'm like, hack your computer nothing. He was so cute. He was serious. He was going to hack in on his Mimi's computer. This sweet little, I just love this. I love that blue flower. I thought it was pretty with that, that pretty little blue ribbon. Y'all, this is cabbage paper. Uh, cabbage dyed paper. Not made out of cabbages, but cabbage dyed paper. And I have a vintage tin. I don't know where I picked it up. I've had it for years, but I'm trying to find the other end of this paper. It's it's so it's really pretty, but this this tin had the pan has has mar markings on it. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see it. Here it is. You can see it a little bit better here. I love those markings. So when I was baking my cabbage papers, I put them on that tin and it left the imprints. And there's one of these. I don't know where it's at, but it's got... Um, well, I don't know what I was going to even say. I lost my... Law, I lost my whole train of thought again. Uh... Well, if I figure, if I remember what I was going to say, see, I, I'll, I'll tell y'all later. I, if I remember what I was going to say about that, I, I chased a squirrel and it, I kind of got lost with it. I do it all the time. I, like I said yesterday, I just can't help it. It's just how God made me. So I have to just roll with it. Isn't that cute? That little bee piece. I love that. I think it's so cute in there. Another little antique. Oh, I love that paper. Listen to it. Oh, I love that. Y'all, those are my little beauties. They're sweet. They're little dinkies. You can throw them in your throw them in your purse. Do whatever. But they are really sweet. And I hope you like them. I've enjoyed showing them to you. Um, thank you for being here with me today. I surely do appreciate it. Um uh, I hope you'll like my channel and subscribe and, you know, hit that notification bell so that you can know when I've uploaded a new video and hopefully it won't be out of whack. It won't, maybe it won't be wonky and you can see, um, you can see on the, 
on the wide angle, not the skinny angle like Brittany told me earlier. So I, I'm, I'm going to figure all this out, y'all. We're going to have a fun time until I do, I'm pretty sure. So hang in there with me. We'll get there. Look, I got to show you one more thing. Y'all, you can't make this stuff up, okay? You just can't. I found this book at the thrift store in Pulaski, Tennessee, and it is on all these people that went and legally changed their names. So it says, remarkable names of real people. Y'all, these names are not remarkable. One... I don't know what I did with it. I don't know where I put it. But they named their self laryngitis, bronchitis. Um, what else was it? It was so funny. I don't know where I put that paper. I was going to read it to you. Lord, I've lost it. But um, they, they had about five names. It didn't make any sense. They was all like laryngitis and that kind of thing, and their last name was Jackson. Can you imagine putting all those Idises and then on um, the last name of your, not, your name being Jackson? But it, it just, it struck me. This I thought it was a funny book. I'll just read you one. I can't read that one. Here's one from Norwalk, Ohio. They named their, changed their name to Ophelia Leg. Ophelia Leg. Can you imagine this one from Liverpool, England, that named it Original Bug. That's his name, Original Bug. I, some of them I can't read. Some of them I really can't read because they're not nice. But they're hilarious. Miss Friendly... Oh, I can't read that one. Never mind. I shut the book. I shut the book on that one because I really can't read that one. But anyway, I thought I'd share you. When you go when you go book hunting and, and looking, sometimes you you run across some, some, really, some doozies. But anyway, I'm glad you've been with me today. Come back. Uh, maybe I'll have another one up tomorrow. Y'all come back and spend some more time with me. We'll get this channel growing. All right. Thank y'all. See you later. Bye-bye.